Hey guys, here we are at the beginning of 2022 during the making of this video and I've already done videos on it and here we are finally. So I did a video a while back talking about they are phasing out 410A, I had some feedback on that, different questions. I just recently did a video right here on some predictions that are coming up in this year, but starting January 1st, 2022, uh, we are now starting to phase out. So it's officially started. The first stage of the HFC phase down, as mandated by the American Innovation and Manufacturing Act, as of January 1st, 2022, the production of HFC refrigerants such as 410A and R404A have been reduced by 10%, which will probably not have a significant effect on the industry. However, a steep cut comes by 2024. So in two years, uh, we're going to see a big cut. So in 2024, production must be reduced by 60% of the baseline established by the EPA. Everyone in the HVACR industry is going to feel the pain from this reduction. And so a few years ago, as you may or may not know, uh, they phased out R22 and R22 was an HCFC, which they found out had an effect on the depletion of the ozone layer. And then since then, they are now saying that R410A and R404A HFCs have an effect on global warming as a whole. So that's why we're seeing this phase out. I did videos on this. And in some states like California, they already started this phase down years ago. And so December of 2020 is when Congress passed this AIM Act, you can look it up, and this gives the EPA the authority to phase down HFCs to 15% of their baseline levels by the year 2036. So this is going to be a long process, obviously, but by the year 2024, which is in the very near future, it sounds like 410A is going to jump dramatically in price. It's already gone up. Just in the last five years of my career, I've seen it increase by 400%. Bottom line is the HFC phase down has begun and the industry will ultimately transition to air conditioning equipment that contains something other than 410A. Hopefully the phase down will follow the relatively smooth transition experience last time, but there are obviously some concerns. In fact, to see how things could potentially go sideways, just look at Europe, whose phase down resulted in a 1000% increase in the cost of HFCs, as well as a thriving black market for illegally imported refrigerants. I don't know if that's going to happen here. They're definitely getting in front of this and sharing more and more. But anyway, want to do a real quick video on that. If you have caught this and you're a homeowner, I kind of touched on it in that video where I talked about predictions for 2022. But ultimately, I just want you to know as a homeowner, yes, this is going to be a long process. No, I don't think you need to base your decisions on whether or not you should wait to replace your equipment based on this phase down. But I do want you to know up front, if you are in the home stretch with your heating and air system and thinking you will have to replace it sometime in the future, that these changes will affect pricing and things like that. So anyway, I hope that helps. I know there's a lot of uncertainty right now, especially the way prices have jumped in general. And I'm sure this doesn't help with that, but sometimes knowing ahead of time can help you address things. All that said, if you're in the market for a heating and air system and you're in Griffin Air's coverage market in the northern neck of Virginia, all the way down to Williamsburg in the middle peninsula, give us a call. We'd love to earn your business and we will give you the best warranty in the area, 12-year parts and labor warranty. And if you're not in our coverage area and you're in the market for a heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my website, New HVAC Guide. I put so much information on there. I basically wrote a book but instead of a book that will become outdated, this website, I can add things and change things and all that good stuff. So definitely check out that website. I've got a whole page called No-Nos, Things to Stay Away From. And recently I added a page where I tell you which HVAC brands are better than others and which ones are not. And no, no one paid me to be higher on that list, unlike some lists you find on the internet. That said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.